Unpar Kasti Atsayu, the unparalleled boxer of his time, powerfully and effectively dismantled giants in the boxing ring. His indomitable spirit, courage, and uncompromising desire for victory made him a legend of the sport. And today, in this thrilling episode, we will present you with evidence of just that. Kosti Atsayu vs. Hugo Pineda Opening our list of conquests is Kostya's bout against Colombian boxer Hugo Pineda. There were colossal differences in physical parameters, with Kostya being 15 centimeters shorter in height. But that didn't deter him, it only added fire to his eyes, fueling him for a powerful resistance. In his career, this Colombian boxer even made it to the super heavyweight division, which speaks to his versatile abilities and readiness to fight the strongest opponents. In this grand showdown, the fight was for the prestigious title of IBF World Champion, a title already held by Tsayu. Right from the start, the bout ignited with tremendous intensity. Due to the noticeable height and reach advantage, Kosti Atsayu faced a tough challenge in the ring, especially when, towards the end of one of the rounds, Hugo Pineda sent him to the canvas with a powerful right lateral blow. But that was just the beginning of the battle, and the champion gradually adapted to his opponent's style. In the opening seconds of the fourth round, Kostya responded to Pineda, knocking him down with a successful combination. From that moment, Kosti Atsayu took full control of the fight, demonstrating his dominance in the ring. It's worth noting that Hugo committed several rule violations, prompting the referee to intervene and pause the match to address the issues. The culmination came when Pineda fell to the canvas at the end of the seventh round, unable to withstand the relentless pressure from Kosti Atsayu. The subsequent rounds unfolded in unrelenting tension, with both fighters actively exchanging blows, unwilling to concede an inch of space to each other. In the championship rounds, Kostya sent his opponent to the canvas twice, but Hugo Pineda got up each time, displaying his unwavering determination not to surrender. Hugo was clearly not willing to accept defeat, but it was all decided in the 11th round when another knockdown put an end to this unforgettable encounter. The undisputed winner was determined, Kosti Atsayu, who reaffirmed his IBF World Champion title in a convincing fashion. Kosti Atsayu vs. Corey Johnson Coming in at second place is the gripping bout where Kosti Atsayu faced American boxer Corey Johnson, who stood at 182 cm tall, surpassing Kosti in this parameter by 12 cm, with an arm reach of a whopping 187 cm. This fight was for the IBF World Champion title, and many wondered if Johnson's size advantage would affect the outcome of the match. However, as we have seen before, when facing a precision master like Kostya, with his unique sense of distance and timing, size no longer mattered. Moreover, Sayu was known for his remarkable ability to creatively use his left hand, earning him the nickname, the Southpaw Assassin. Right from the start of the bout, Kostya seized the initiative, displaying aggressive behavior and relentless pressure, 
which immediately began yielding results. Johnson, trying to evade Sayo's blows, resorted to a tight defense, but it didn't save him from the relentless onslaught. In the third round, Costia cornered Johnson and unleashed powerful and accurate punches to his body. Unable to withstand the force of the blows, the American fighter dropped to his knee on the canvas. And here we see the uh, knockdown, the ferocious left hand of the ribs, right over the top. Now Billy Miles is telling him to, de to defend himself at this stage. Then comes the uppercut, you'll oh, see another right great to rip. The body. Lifts to the body and down goes Johnson. These body punches are just unbelievable. Lou Lewis said that he hates seeing him get hurt in the ring because it's like his son. In the fourth and final round, Corey attempted to regain control and get back in the game, but Saya picked up the pace, pressing his opponent against the ropes, and continued delivering powerful blows. After a series of brutal punches, Johnson couldn't hold on and collapsed on the canvas. The beating ended with a knockout, confirming Kostya Tsayu's impressive strength and skill. This bout served as yet another bright testament to his talent and unmatched boxing skills. Kostya Tsayu vs. Rafael Ruelas In the summer of 1998, with a record of 52 wins, including 42 knockouts, American of Mexican descent, Rafael Ruelas, entered the showdown with the reigning king of the light welterweight division at that time, Kostya Tsayu. Although Ruelas was significantly taller than his opponent, he couldn't fully capitalize on this advantage, as Kostya didn't give him the opportunity to unleash his potential. Right from the start of the bout, Sayu began pressing Ruelas, not allowing him a chance to display his strong points. Kostya carefully selected moments for hard punches, gradually breaking through his opponent's defense. In turn, Ruelas tried to evade and spent a significant amount of time defending and clinching. Despite his height advantage, the Mexican fighter couldn't fully utilize it, as Kostya surpassed him in strength, technique, and ring intelligence. By the seventh round, Rafael started taking almost all of Kostya's punches, and the eighth round became the climax of the fight. Sayo unleashed a relentless barrage, forcing Ruelas to retreat from corner to corner, brutally punishing him. The bout didn't make it to the ninth round, as Ruelas' corner made the only right decision by opting not to continue the fight, realizing that further action could only worsen his position. This bout served as yet another proof of Kostya Tsayu's outstanding mastery and power, solidifying his position as one of the best boxers of his time. Kostya Tsayu vs. Diospolis Hurtado Next up is an epic bout with Cuban boxer Diospolis Hurtado. In terms of physical attributes, this fighter was undoubtedly taller and bigger than Kostya Tsayu, but it was his skill and mastery that made him a dangerous opponent. 
Hurtado represented the Cuban school of boxing, and his high level of technique became evident right from the start of the intense clash, in which both fighters found themselves on the canvas by the third minute. First, it happened to the Cuban, and soon enough, Castiatsayu also hit the floor twice. Realizing that relying solely on strength wouldn't lead to victory, Saya began to act calmly from the middle of the second round. But Diospoli Zertado wasn't willing to retreat or concede any rounds either. The fight continued with unrelenting tension. In the fifth round, both fighters launched active attacks, leading to a series of multiple exchanges of blows. Castilla focused on Hurtado's head, apparently aiming to finish the bout with a powerful knockout. In the second half of this round, Sayu sent the Cuban to the canvas with a powerful blow to the body. After Hurtado got back up, Saya repeated his success, and the Cuban found himself on the mat again. However, this time Hurtado was no longer willing to continue the fight, and his corner threw in the towel, acknowledging defeat. Castiat Sayu vs. Jan Pete Bergman On September 14, 1996, an exciting bout took place between two undefeated boxers. At that time, Castilla had an impressive record of 17 victories, 13 of which were by knockout. But his African opponent had an even more remarkable statistic, 32 wins, 26 of which ended in knockouts, and no defeats. That was Jan Pete Bergman, a South African boxer who also had a 10 cm height advantage over Castilla. However, Costia's class and experience easily compensated for Bergman's advantage, as our hero didn't give his opponent the slightest chance. The entire fight was under Tsayo's control, continuously delivering various combinations of punches to his opponent. In the sixth round, Sayu suffered a cut above his left eye, but it didn't prevent him from sending Bergman to the canvas. Although the opponent managed to get back on his feet, Costia immediately rushed to finish him off, ultimately resulting in Jan being knocked out. And your winner, and still undefeated champion of the world, 